All right, so today I'm going to show you how to color your line art in Photoshop, which is probably the most frequently asked question I've gotten. And I'm going to be using Photoshop CS 5.5, but I believe that this method will work with any Photoshop CS program. I haven't tested it maybe on the first uh, few, but I've definitely tested it on CS4. So the first thing you're going to need is some line art. So I pulled up some quick line art here of a project I was working on a while ago. Uh, and you want your line art, most of the time when I have my line art and I've edited it so that it's black and white, uh, I've adjusted it so that it's grayscale. And before you color it, you need to switch it back to the RGB mode. So the first thing that you want to do is go to Image and Mode and click on RGB Color. And then you'll see up at the top here it says RGB. Then you want to make sure you go down to your layers palette and you see that that new line art is showing up as background. And right now it's locked. And the object here is to unlock that background. You can do it a couple different ways, uh, but the way that I like to do it is to double click that background. And it's going to come up with a thing that says layer zero. And I'm going to call this layer actually lines. So I'm going to type in lines there, hit OK. And you'll notice that now the layer is unlocked. Then I'm going to go down to the channels and you're going to see that there's a layer for every color and then a layer where they're all combined. And what you're going to want to do is take uh, your keyboard and hold down command and click on the little icon here uh, next to the layer. You don't want to click on the words. If you're on a PC, you're going to control click. So do that right now that's going to select all of the white. All right. So now that you have all of that white selected, you want to go back to the layers uh, palette down here, click back on layers, and you're going to see the layer that has lines. Um, and you want to actually make a new layer. So you go down here and make a new layer. And right now the white is selected, and we actually want to select the black of the lines. So we're going to go up to select and we're going to put inverse. And it's hard to tell, but now it's selected all the lines. In that new layer, you want to pick a color. I'm going to pick this bright pink. And you want to take your fill bucket and you want to fill in the lines like so. And after you're done with that, you can actually uh, deselect. And I'm going to keep that lines layer, but I'm going to add a layer underneath it and I'm going to just color that white. Okay, so now we have the lines and they are a color. The trick here, this is where I kind of combine two different techniques. Well, now you've got the lines isolated, but you're not easily able to color them until you hit this little icon here that will lock all the transparencies on that layer. So I hit that and you'll notice the little lock shows up again. And now I'm going to take the brush tool just to give you a quick demo. And select a different color here. And you can see I'll paint it in and it'll only color those lines, which is extremely useful and can save lots of time. Now, the cool thing about uh, drawing this way is I can add layers underneath that lines layer, and I'm actually going to name that layer lines again, just to keep track of everything. And now I can take, let's say I wanted his face to be yellow. I can take uh, the layer underneath and I can color and it's going to go underneath those lines. So I can color the lines independently of coloring the actual uh, object, which is very handy. And then I can go back to that lines layer and since transparency is locked, it's not going to change any of the other colors that I've used and I could go in if I want his eyes to be green color his eyes green in right there and not have to worry about staying uh, within those lines. Now to make your life even easier as you're working, I've got another one here that I can show you. Um, you can record that action so that you can you can just uh, play it and it'll automatically uh, make those changes to your lines. So I'm going to go through the same process. It shouldn't take very long. Got my background color, but first I want to pull up this Actions palette over in the, the right hand side of the toolbar here. You'll, if you hover over it, it'll say Actions. 
And there's usually two folders of actions. There's default actions and custom actions, but I'm actually going to make a custom action. So I'm going to select that and hit the new action button. And I'm going to call that um, color lines. Sounds good. And I'm going to hit record. And as soon as I hit record, it's going to track every single thing I do after I hit that record button. So I'm going to hit record and it'll look like it disappears there, but you'll notice that it changes to red over here underneath on that palette. All right, so now that that is recording, we're going to do everything we did, but we're going to do it a little bit quicker this time. First, I'm going to double click background to unlock it. And we're going to name it lines. Hit OK. I also need to go up to image mode, make sure that it is from grayscale to RGB. OK, so that looks good. Go to channels, uh, command click or control click, depending on what operating system you're using. Select all the white. And I'm going to go up to select. And I'm going to put inverse. So now all the black lines I've selected. Go back to my layers. This is all everything that we did before. I'm going to add a layer, and I'm going to pick a really bright color to use. I'm going to pick this bright purple. Okay, and I'm going to color all the lines in that bright purple. Deselect, and then make sure that I lock the transparency on that layer. And then I should be able to hit stop. So that recorded all those actions that we did really quickly. Then to test it out, I'm going to pull up a new piece of line art, a different file, uh, how to use a bookmark. This is exactly the same, black and white. Select what action you want there. And then you hit play, and it should come up with those purple lines. There we go. So now you can apply that action to any different file that you need to use to color the lines. And that's the definitely the easiest way that I found to color lines in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.